Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got a good one on tap between the visiting Arizona Cardinals and the Seattle Seahawks. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, Coach, no rain in the forecast. That's the good news, but it is a chilly December day here in the Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Arizona Cardinals and the Seattle Seahawks. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Uh, this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here. Yes, they can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember, for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And oh, right away, he lost the football. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. They'll try the sweep. It's Lockett with it, and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Yeah, let's get second. Now a give, right side. Carson. And some space here. And they move this all the way down to the nine. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. He had his eyes on the end zone once he hit the secondary, but they're finally able to slow him down. Yeah, and I've got to look at this one from the defensive point of view. You just mentioned finally able to slow him down. They've got to figure out a way to make that at the point of attack, at the line of scrimmage, because once he gets through, he's shredding them. Wilson. They set up the screen to Penny. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Rashad Penny with touchdown number seven on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. From the gun on third down, Murray. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Credit the sack to Shaquem Griffin. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit, or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. They can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. Rolling to it. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. A little careless with the football. And he also had a fumble loss. And he'll spot her now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And look at this. It's a fake. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. 
A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. They'll try and throw for him with Wilson. Out to his... And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. The linebacker Jordan Hicks flying in there for the sack. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. And them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pick there. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That one good for 14 and the Seahawk first. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. It's Wilson sliding out of the pocket. That's going to be caught. And so close, he gets it to the run. Out of bounds right there. A well-executed 22-yard game. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it. And see. They'll try to run with Carson. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good block and six. From the gun, Murray. Kirk complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 35. Murray with a third and long. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Jadevian Clowney in there to bring him down, and that is sack number 17 for him now on the year. receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Sanders. 
Bears kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So the field goal there caps it. Not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. The Seattle on second and goal. Wilson, and he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. Here the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide that they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside, who gets lost? They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. To throw, it's Murray. Open man is Kirk, complete. Now the ball comes loose, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they bring this one back. It's a fumble recovery and a Seattle touchdown. The pass receiver turned into a runner, then he turned into a fumbler, and it goes the other way for six. I love your description. Although for the offense, they're not too happy about it, but for the defense, what a big time play for them. Never give up on anything. Sometimes you create your own points. But the receiver, hard to fault him. He's just going for extra yards. That's exactly what you're supposed to do, but you have to take care of the football. here for Seattle and they were buoyed Charles by a big second half to put this one on ice and I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves I'll bet halftime was really interesting probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more the adjustments they made they came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half they made the adjustments necessary went away from that and then they got it together got a spark and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for the Seahawks, they continue to keep pace for that first round bye as they move to 11 and one. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, it was a win they needed to turn the season around, but instead they fall to five and seven. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.